Civic Day is Monday, and for many that means a midsummer long weekend. Now, the holiday goes by different names in different provinces, but here in Toronto it's known as Simcoe Day in honor of, well, this guy. Major General John Graves Simcoe, but do we know why we celebrate? No, I know it's a Canadian holiday because I'm American. <laughs> what about you? Do you know why we have tomorrow? They, oh, we, we, we Googled this this morning and I, I don't remember it, but um, it's, oh, it, it, nope. Do you know why we celebrate tomorrow? Why we have a day off tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow's, no, I actually have no idea why we have tomorrow off. Does the Simcoe Day ring a bell at all? No, it doesn't. Does the Simcoe Day ring a bell to you? No, no. Okay, time for a history lesson. Major General John Graves Simcoe was Upper Canada's first lieutenant governor. He was also a supporter of abolition. It all started when Simcoe heard the story of a slave girl named Chloe Cluey, who was violently abused by her owner. Her screams were heard by many, and the matter was brought to Simcoe's attention by Peter Martin, a former slave. This prompted Simcoe to put forward an anti-slavery act the first to pass in a British colony. So Simcoe Day is in honor of Major General John Graves Simcoe who helped abolish slavery. What are your thoughts on celebrating in his name? That sounds like a good idea to me. I'm not a big fan of slavery. Well, power to Canada. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I had never heard of him, though. <laughs> Simcoe Day comes just days after Emancipation Day when former British colonies celebrate the Slavery Abolition Act. Of course, it's not a holiday for everyone. Yours truly will be working, and there are a few places that are still open. The CN Tower, the Arts Gallery of Ontario, and the Ripley's Aquarium, to name a few. There's also a few select LCBO and beer stores that are open, including this one here near Young and Dundas. For a full list of what's open and what's closed, you can visit our website at citynews.ca.